Hello everyone. I hope you all are healthy and fit in your home. So let's start the class of today. We have topic operators. Operators in C++. Okay. So I hope you have all have watched my previous video of C++ and it will be easy for you guys to understand the concept clearly. So operators are simple the symbols which help us to determine the calculations value like addition subtraction multiplication and all okay so in c++ there are three you can see here unary binary and ternary so as the name suggest okay unary means which will operate with only one operand binary means two and ternary means three operand means variables okay under unary, unary category there are four okay increment decrement unary minus and size of operator and you can see here on the binary category there are six this is io means input output okay arithmetic relational logical bitwise and shift and under ternary category we have conditional operator so in your grade in your grade okay in this binary category you have to understand arithmetic relational logical three only okay and ternary you have to do it and unary all unary operators you have to perform some program code okay so let's discuss this two first okay and briefly i will tell you what is the function of this two operator unary minus and size of Unary minus is simply the negative value like minus 5, minus 10, okay. And size of, size of means when you declare some variable like int a, float a, okay. Or char means character type. So what is the data type you have declared and how much that variable is taking space in memory, okay. So int will take 2 bytes, float will take 4 bytes and double will take 8 bytes okay and character will take 1 byte so this is the memory allocation for the data types okay and size of operator will tell you how much size is used for your variable okay like int a if you ask what is the size of a it will tell you 2 bytes okay so let's start the increment decrement operator so increment simply means adding one to the variable like suppose your value of a is one and when you will increment it it will become two okay same as decrement minus one okay now see both the increment and decrement are of two types prefix and postfix prefix means one thing is common here in both the cases prefix and postfix when you are incrementing it it will get added one will get added okay but which value will use you have to be very clear about it okay which value will get used here in case of prefix see here prefix in case of prefix one will get added and the new updated value will be used okay but here see here postfix you have to use the current value of a okay one will get added but you will not use the new value you will use the old value in case of postfix and prefix you will use the new value of a okay in postfix here the value is getting up uh, incremented by one but it will get stored in memory it will not show in the that variable okay and when you will print in another line like see out value of a then you will get the new value because in memory already one is added there okay in both the cases one is added but you are using that new value in case of prefix and here the old value in postfix okay and one more thing you have to understand the sequence when 
both types of the prefix and po postfix are together in one operation okay so how you are going to do it see here this one is postfix and this one is prefix right so first one first this will execute means first execution will be prefix you have to calculate first this one so i is here zero and your value of i will be now here one right so i equals to one and this new value because in this case you have to use always the prefix first and the value of one will now be used by this one postfix that means this i equals to one becomes the old value for postfix but here i actual value in memory is two because here two times incrementation is there but here it will use one okay and plus one it will be two okay one plus one will be two j, j equals to two and i equals to also two okay so let's see this one in your solo loan app how it's uh, performing this one calculating this one okay as two and now check now how much it will become you guys guess it okay so in my case i'll say the answer okay uh, j first of all j will be become three plus three six j will become six and a will become four see here okay j is six and a is four so here pre incrementation will work first that means two plus one three and three that same value of three will be added because it is postfix and if suppose both are prefix then what will happen here two prefix are there so you will use two plus one three three plus one four four plus four eight the value of j will become eight see here eight yeah and a will be four because two time incrementation so in case of both the pre values prefix okay so you have to do first calculate the prefix how many times two times so your value will be four and then put the values in this four plus four like that okay suppose i put one more prefix now tell me value guys what will happen what will be the value of j now so ch check here three times incrementation of prefix so 2 plus 3 is 5 right so 5 plus 5 plus 5 how much 15 and a value will be 5 here yeah. how is it coming 13 so let's check here 